children today i am going to teach you animal life lesson number 6 okay from your book so there are different millions type of animals are there on this earth okay some animals such as amoeba are very tiny very very small and even we cannot see from our naked eyes also okay so when we see we can only be seen under a microscope some such as the blue whale or a huge very huge like many times the size of an ele elephant animals live in many different kinds of surroundings they are found in forest rivers seas pond desert mountains snow covered area air and even in our home the surroundings in which a living organism live and survive is called habitat animal have different features that help them to survive in their specific habits animals have different types of body they have some animals they have a covering covering types of shape okay like different body covering like some animals such as snails turtles and tortoises have a shell okay the hard part of their body that protects their soft body inside the shell fish and reptiles have a scales to protect them fish have thin scale and the reptiles have very hard shell um, sorry uh, scales leathery scales birds have feather to protect them keep them warm and help them to fly mammals have their hair on their bodies to protect them and keep them warm animals like polar bear have a thick covering of hair called fur so these scales these fur these hair type hairy types the shells the scales now they all protecting animal okay from the warm and different types of uh, weather different eating habits animals also have a different eating habits so different animals can eat kinds of food of stay alive the mouth part of animals are adapted to the kind of food they eat like in animal animals that eat plants animals such as cow sheep goat zebra and horse they are the plant eating animals they are called herbivores they have sharp front teeth to cut or bite the plants and large flat back teeth to grind the food they grind with their teeth grass and all so they have a flat back side flat molars like teeth and the front side is a uh, flat sharp teeth to cut the leaves animal that eat other plants animal that eat other plants animals such as lion wolf frog lizard snake eagle or owl eat other animals they are called carnivores they are a flesh eating animals lions tiger and other meat eaters have sharp pointed front teeth to tear the food and strong back teeth to chew the flesh and bones eagle and owls have sharp or strong claws to catch small animals like rat and sharp hooked beak to tear the flesh frog and lizard have a long sticky tongue to they use to catch their prey then the next next point is animal that eat uh, sorry the animal that eat both plants and animals some animals they are eating plants also and some same animals they are eating flesh also direct small animals also so they are the they are calling uh, omnivorous animals dog fowls humans and bears eat both plants and animals these animals are known as omnivorous fowls eat grains and worms human eat both vegetable and meat that is why they are calling omnivorous animals different methods of breathing different methods of breathing animal have different different covering shape also different eating habits also and like that also animals also have different breathing habits they have a different parts of they have different parts uh, parts in that in their body to breathe okay so some animals breathe through the lungs like we also we have two lungs to breathe okay so mammals birds and reptiles breathe through their lungs they have two lungs which are connected by a breathing tube to the nostril nostrils like nose none the end of the 
uh, holes okay from the nose this is called nostrils air is breathed in through the nostrils and fill the lungs the lungs become big when air enter the lungs ex exchange the oxygen in the inhale air with the carbon dioxide produced in the body the air is then breathed out through the nostrils again some animals breathe through, through moist skin moist skin like earthworm breathes through its moist skin so does the frog when it's in the water or on the land the frog breathes through its lungs okay when when the frogs in the water frog is using their skin and when the frogs comes on the land they are using their lungs some animals breathe through body holes like insects breathe through their tiny holes called spherigals on both sides of the, their body the air that enter reaches all parts of the body through small tubes called breathing tubes some animals breathe through gills also fish tadpole prawns and most animal that live in a water breathe the air dissolve in water they have gills instead of lungs they take in water through their mouth as the water passes over the gills the dissolved oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out so animals na they have different methods of breathing some animals they are taking from the lungs some animals they have taking breath from the gills some animals from the moist skin and some animal from the hole okay like that animals also have different methods of moving different different types of uh, animals they are moving in a different way so here written animal moves to look for food because of the food they are moving they also move to escape from enemies and find shelter from heat rain and cold they move on different waves waves some move slowly and some very fast some moves over small distance and some moves over long distance animals that move on land many animals living on land move with the help of their limbs lion tiger elephants and many other walk on four limbs four limbs like two hands and two legs they are called these two hands are called four limbs and the legs are called hind limbs okay so the front limbs are called four limbs and the ones behind are the hind limbs cheetahs horses gazelles and zebras are good runner they use their strong legs to run fast rabbits and hares hop they are jumping instead of walking they are jump okay their hind limbs are very strong and longer than their four limbs humans can stand upright and walk on two legs their arms are the four limbs and the arrangement of the thumb and the other finger helps human to lift hold and grab things snakes and worms do not have legs okay they have scales snakes move by covering and straightening its body and worms to shorten and elongates its body rapidly rapidly to move they have scale with the help of the scales they are moving forward they expand their body okay forward and backward backward or forward okay with the help of scales crocodile lizard and tortoise use their four short legs to crawl all insects have six legs ant and beetle use their leg for walking a grasshopper uses its powerful hind legs to hop animals some animals they are flying okay like bird use their wings to fly their wings are actually for actually the four limbs but by moving the wings up and down birds push themselves through the air the bodies of birds are small and light making it easy for them to fly not to, not all bird can fly bird like the ostrich emu and cassowary cannot fly because of their heavy bodies and poorly developed wings they are good runner house flies mosquito butterfly moths and bees are flying insects they can fly because they have light small bodies and light wings animals some animals they can swim fish swim 
by moving their body and tails from side to side. Fishes have their three types of fins. They are used to balance, change direction and stop. Some fishes also use their fins like oars. Oars means like a long stick used to row a boat type that is called oars to push the water to move forward. Because of the oars, they are pushing the water. Frogs swim by kicking the water with their web in legs. The water boatman is insects that use its leg as oar to swim. Prongs and tadpoles swim with their legs. Turtles use their flippers for swimming. Penguins have wings that work like flipper and are used for swimming. So, children, thank you. You read this lesson nicely again. All the sentence, all the big topics, okay, you read it nicely again and again. And learn all the question answer to the activities. Your homework is question number A, B, C is your A, B, C is your homework. You do it in your home or take help to your parents, okay. Your parents will help you to do, okay. But you read first nicely this lesson, all the Headings needed nicely, okay? Thank you. Stay home, stay safe, do it for yourselves, do it for your family, do it for India. Let's break the chain of COVID-19. Come home, come here, come here. Jai Hind.